The following is brought to you by the Law Offices of Gersowitz, Lebo, and Korik. Here at the firm, we uh, have been handling toxic tort cases uh, for a number of years, and we've got a great team that's helped us on those cases. And what we uh, have uh, done is explored those cases where people live within a certain radius of something that may be dangerous, whether it's a landfill or contaminated water. For example, in one case, been retained uh, to fight the city of New York with regard to the Pelham Bay landfill. I was contacted on that case when I was a kid, and it was 1992. And a a uh, person came to me and asked if I would help uh, in terms of her daughter who had died of leukemia and uh, where she thought and was convinced that it was connected to the Pelham Bay landfill. And it was then a year or so that I stayed with it and realized I didn't have the resources or really the experience uh, to handle a case like that. And I wanted to do the right thing by the family and so I tried to find a home for it. I had a very difficult time finding a home for it, meaning another law firm that would take on the cause and have the resources and go to bat for Pat. And what came to be more and more parents who had either lost their children through uh, a specific type of leukemia, ALL, childhood leukemia, or who had children who were in remission or ongoing ALL problems, did find someone. And that firm stayed with the case for too long a period of time. And I don't say that to fault them. There were changes in that firm. I think the resources that were required to continue to prosecute that case became more and more difficult for that firm. And that firm came to me 18 years later and said, look, you're not the kid you were in 1992 anymore. Uh, you seem to have the resources and the ability. Are you interested? And I had some meetings and then I came back to my partners and I talked to them about so many of these families that had lived within a short radius of this Pelham Bay landfill, which had since been closed, and which had taken in tons of toxic material only because of bribes that had been paid to city officials for the ability to do that. And the bribes were being paid by companies who had turned a blind eye uh, when their drivers had made these uh, nighttime dumps. And the stuff that was in there was just so horrendous. And some of it was known to cause cancer. And so when we looked at some of the work that the previous firm had done and we added and uh, shorted up a bit and we saw that the epidemiology suggested that there was a real cause here. And so we had more discussions in our firm and my partners and I made a decision we were going to get involved. And so here it was 20 years later uh, from the kid who had been confronted in 1992 uh, to 2012 and uh, all of a sudden we were full blown and we had um, war rooms uh, here at the uh, firm committed to uh, doing the right thing on that case and uh, we did settle each of those cases and bring in over a million dollars per family uh, for those 12 families and extremely proud of the work that we did and extremely proud of the fact that something had come full circle that perhaps was meant to have me in the first place. If you or a loved one has been injured due to negligence, please call 800-529-9997 or visit LawyerTime.com. Put the team at Gersowitz, Lebo & Cork to work for you.